What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Chat with Langston podcast. And today we have Mr. Jeff <laughs> Babu on the podcast. <laughs> What's up? How are you? How are you, Langston? Thank you I'm so much good, for having man. me. Oh, my God. I'm so excited, dude. I'm finally doing an actual podcast with you on my podcast. Yes. Like, this is, this is, yes. I've been waiting for this for a long time. <laughs> dude, literally, what the hell? We should All have right. done this like years ago. I know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to be formal with likes and roses. Like, yeah, no, yeah, say. yeah. I know. This is weird. Like me and Sam, dude. We, 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 the way we talk, it's, I, it's not like this. Because <laughs> I've seen your other podcasts, and just like they're so serious, and this, like, I, I don't know. It's just, bro. Good. The last one, once. Told me who's the stand-up comedian. It was like you know. I don't know. I I can't be. I can't. Nah, okay, bro. You, be you. you just gotta be you, bro. That's it. <laughs> but I'm, all right. I'm so. All right. Uh, I'm I'm sure that most of my audience knows you, but I I definitely <laughs> want to to I want you to introduce yourself to everyone because I mean I know you and everyone else probably yeah. knows you. But uh, tell us what you do and everything. Just, you know. What's up, everybody? Uh, my name is Safe, <clears throat> and uh, I I don't know what do you want me to say, dude. I don't know what to say. I'm a uh... I don't know. Okay. You're like like a freaking Twitch streamer, which is oh, you're pretty yeah, popping yeah. right now. What? Yeah. <laughs> so, I, yeah. So I guess I'm a Twitch. I, it's so weird. I've never really like said, "Oh, I'm a Twitch streamer," but you're yeah, like, I stream yeah. my Twitch, and uh, yeah, that's what I do. But also, like you know, I also have like a day thing where I like uh, I kind of like manage this. Uh, I don't want to really get into that, but yeah, you don't I, have uh, to. You don't have to. Yeah. Uh, for the most part, yeah, I I stream on Twitch. Yeah. Okay. And I reached. I started like a few months ago, and uh, yeah, it's it's really fun. Awesome, man! Awesome. All right, yeah. so guys, I'm gonna put up his handle over here so you guys can see his streams. Yeah. He does pretty yeah. awesome stuff. Again, you know, he he plays a lot of YouTube videos which I never knew even existed on YouTube. They're very strange yeah. sometimes. You know, I don't <laughs> I don't want to talk about how strange they are because <laughs> sometimes yeah. I put I put his stream like on the table over there, and I just listen to it like a podcast. I don't type anything on it. And I'm just like, what am I hearing? But it's pretty interesting, though. It's really interesting. So, you guys, catch him on Twitch. He streams every day at uh, 10 p.m. IST. Uh, what? 10 a.m. 10 p.m. 10 p.m. 10 p.m. 10 p.m. IST. I and I have my life together like that. I start doing it at 10. Damn, that would be great. No, that's something uh, I think uh, I have to convert it to a Eastern Standard Time as well, Sam, because I'm oh. sure that a lot of the audience over here might listen to it only. Oh, shit. Yeah, I just that. realized. I'm sorry. Yeah. You're right. But I'll put it up over there. Like, once I do the editing and everything, it's all going to go up. All right, guys. Yeah. So, okay. today we're going to be talking about Hours of the Dragon, bitches. <laughs> Dude, that show. I, you know what? Okay. Before, okay, okay, wait, show... wait, wait. before, before you get into it, guys, spoiler alert. If you haven't spoiler watched the show, alert. do not listen to this podcast. <laughs> yes, spoiler alert, mega spoiler alert. Yeah, but dude, right. the way they ended the last show. Okay, I'm not gonna get too much into the last show because I think we've all discussed how much how shitty that was. The end. Okay, okay, season. okay. I'm, I'm gonna. Okay, we can get to that. Hold that thought because I'll explain to you why it was not shitty though. But go on. Wait, give me, give me one second, Chigib. Okay. I, I, because I personally thought it was really shitty, okay? Okay. So I was like, not, I was like, you know what, House of Dragons, I'm not going to watch it. I was just like, dude, you know what? And then someone was like, you know what, the people who were like, you know, who fucked the show up, like the two guys, I don't know what their names are. Uh, they, uh, they're apparently not working on this one. And they said that it's going to be like, and like George R. R. Martin, like the guy who's like, you know, who wrote the book, he's like, you know, going to write a lot of the episodes. And uh, that I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll get. I'll do it. I'll give it. And dude, I'm so glad I watched it because there's so much. More, there's so fun. It was like, cause like the first the first show started off a little slow, right? The first season was a little slow, and the second season was a little slow. Dude, it's it's like it's like it's like great off the bat. Like it's like I loved it. It was so great. It was so fun. It was. And e- every was- new epi- every episode, like it's like something new, crazy shit. And I love it. I love it. I'm sad Definitely. that it's like you know, one question over. though. The 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 last season of Game of Thrones was that based on the books? The, uh, I think the I think the writer told the director, the directors of the show that like you know how he wants the show to end, but 
or like who's gonna like whatever. So I think this, the books are gonna have the same ending, I think. Okay. But it's it's just it's, they're gonna get to it in a different way in the book. So okay. there's gonna be it's gonna be different, but like it's gonna have the same outcome, I believe. I'm not yeah. exactly sure though. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, I I know everybody was disappointed with Game of Thrones. The last season and the fan fan finale and everything, but like, if it if you only talk Game of Thrones, man, like honestly, after look after watching House of the Dragon as a whole, you kind of like translate to see why, like, what happened in Game of Thrones, whatever happened, there was like a reason behind that, right? Mm. Because okay, so House of the Dragon essentially, guys, it's basically talking about the whole Targaryen history, right? How did the Targaryens? Yeah. How are they very powerful? And basically, the entire show is going to be about how the whole downfall of the Targaryens, if they're going to be following the book, Fire and Blood. It's based on Fire and Blood, which I started reading, by the way. And, oh, uh, right. dude, honestly, dude, I, I'm reading, I'm in the first 20 pages of the book. It's just Aegon's conquest. It's talking about Aegon, bro. Dude, yeah, it's yeah. so lit, man. It's so really? lit. This, it is? It's, it's fucking amazing, bro. Like, Honestly, the books will obviously paint a bigger picture. You, you see, like, what everything is there. Like, I feel like I need to read it again to just grasp, like, what actually is, has happened before. Because it uh. talks about everything after the... So, they never go beyond before the doom. It's everything after the doom, right? What happened once the doom occurred? You know, what did Aegon do? Uh, he basically... I think he was the rider of Beleriand. That is, that's the biggest dragon of G- Game of Thrones. I mean, in the Game of yeah. Thrones universe, right? And yeah. basically, like, you know, it talks about how him, he married his sisters to keep the Targaryen bloodline. Yeah. Li- yeah. It sounds yeah. so messed up when I say it, like, incest is so normal, but I've seen, like, worse shit yeah. in the show, which is, like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, like, just, just a clue, guys. Do you like this? <laughs> oh, my God. Jesus, dude. I can't believe you just did that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get into that. Are yeah. you putting it out there for free? What are you doing, bro? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you make money off of that license? Damn. Bro. You know, interestingly, yeah, people yeah. do sell their feed picks online. I'm yeah. not going to lie. It's, a, it's, a, it's, an, it's an actual thing. It's an actual thing. So I've been down that rabbit hole where I was like, I was watching YouTube videos on like people talking about how they sell feed picks. Bruh. They, they make good money, dude. Like hundreds of dollars. They Her do. photo too. It's not like hundreds of dollars. Like, they're like, they're like, also dudes can get into too. Into Listen, okay, this okay, this, this was live. He was seeing it live. This is even more prizes. Oh, but okay, anyways, this, this uh, was live. Yeah. Oh, no spoilers. No spoilers. Oh, we'll yeah, we'll yeah. not give. We'll not give it away too much. We'll not give yeah. it away too much. Even if like you know they don't listen to it. But essentially, like the books do definitely paints a better picture, and they go around the whole Targaryen history and everything. And it's talking about like, okay, so this is what happened. And this is Renera, and you know, it talks about how even Renera dies, which I'm not gonna get into, um, mm-hmm. and everything. But like yeah. it's 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 pretty detailed, and a lot of it has already been spoiled in Game of Thrones, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you've actually watched Game of Thrones, they have actually said a lot about what actually happens in How yeah. the Dragon. But uh, we wanna see how it happens, right? Yeah. So firstly, tell me what do you think about like what were your fa- favorite elements of the show, I guess. Dude, freaking, what's his name? Damon. I think Damon's my favorite. Oh my character. god, dude! What a he's in, dude. For it's like it's just a weird roller coaster with him because like first you hate him, then you love him, then you hate him again, but then you love him again. It's like it's so weird. Like first you're like, okay, he's a really douchey like general. He's like you know killing like these like people, and then you're like, okay, you know what? But he's like, but then he's also a badass. Like you know, he was at war and he made them what? Oh, like against the crab. Crab eater, crab feeder, uh, crab feeder. Crab eater. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this crab is feeder, bad, bro. bro. That was gross. That's a gross. But thing. That, that was such a sick episode, dude. That, that was such a cool ending. That was gross. That yeah, I did not know what was the point of that. I did not know a lot about the whole story behind the crab feeder and why was that war necessary. I um, think you'll get a. I think you'll get more of that in the book because uh, yeah, I, think that I was very really confused in that episode. I was like, "What is this? Like, what is the purpose of that?" that crap here like how is he is he like following a different is he trying to conquer the seven kingdoms or what like what's his purpose you know the thing is i wish i wish they had because like i wish they'd like because I, I, I thought he was a cool character when i saw him i was like okay he looks crazy he has this shit on and he has that disease 
you know the where he's like you know the, what what is that disease called again? The you know the when you touch the, when they touch someone, it's like the what do you call that? Shit, is that dude? a skin disease? Yeah, the skin disease. You remember? He had it all on his face, yeah. Somebody. He had it all over his body. Like, um, mm. I thought he was gonna be some like crazy like mad villain, but like he they, his death was so like like so like so quick. Dude, like, his death was him, mad. Yeah, like, I was thinking as well. Like he, yeah. And I, I don't know who he was exactly. I guess once I read the books, I'll find out. But like, yeah, yeah I think Damon is a very interesting character, a very yeah. interesting Targaryen. You know, it's very weird to see him as Viserion's brother. No, Viserys' brother. Viserys, yeah. Viserion. Yeah, like it's it's kind of weird, but like, because they're two different people. Mm-hmm. And technically, he's supposed to be the heir, I guess. But obviously, it has to be the daughter or a son, right? So yeah. I don't know. I, 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 the conflict between that whole conflict over there kind of already gave me like a foreshadowing of what was actually going to happen, though. Yeah. The whole, the, there's always, there's always like a civil battle between them. If you really see the in battle? the show, between the Targaryens, it's always been a civil battle. Even yeah. in Game of Thrones, you remember uh, Daenerys' brother, right? That he was very, yeah. his name was, was Viserys. Well. Yeah, yeah. He was also like both of them had a conflict. They were not like friends with each other. They were not like, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, my brother, oh yeah, my sister. No, it was like he sold her to the Drogo, bro. The Thraki, yeah, yeah. He sold her yeah. the Dothraki, right? So that yeah. conflict has always been there in the Targaryen family. So mm-hmm. I was like, you know what? This is not. Go- I don't know how it's going to end, but it there is going to be some something messed up. I don't mm-hmm. expect him to marry uh, the aunt. <laughs> His niece. That's his niece. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, I saw it coming. I saw it coming. Also, uh, yeah. the person who I was watching the show with, like that person, they also like you know uh, figured that like you know what freaking uh, uh, there's something weird about the like the uncle and like niece. They're like weirdly close. And then there's that scene when the in the in the brothel, and it's like whoa, what the fuck is going on, dude? You know? And then that didn't go through exactly. Yeah. And then like later on, they ended up actually getting married. Which was like yeah. bizarre. You know what's but, weird? After she came back from the brothel, though, she goes with this. I think she started to sleep with Sir Kristen or something. Which, by yes, the way, yes, is the yes. biggest dick of the show. Fuck that guy, dude. <laughs> oh. Sorry, man. Like, like, what is this? this? What's with that guy, man? I, I, I fucking. You want to slap dude, him? You really want to slap him? You start the show liking Kristen, though. Like you know, yeah, you, you like do. him in the beginning, right? I liked him in the beginning too, and then he goes batshit crazy. Bro, when he killed that guy who went against, uh, like, the head, where he was like, no, like, the, you know, the, I'm not going to, like, go against the king's, like, you know, word. And then he's just, like, you know, freaking slaps his head on the table. Like, what the fuck was that all about, dude? That was messed up, dude. Was Basically, insane. it was one night with a Targaryen that pissed the fuck out of you. <laughs> yeah, dude. But it was, uh, another thing I really liked about the show was that there was a lot more dragons. That was, that was really cool. A lot more dragons, dude. Yeah. Like, the dragons in the show were, it felt so normal. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. realize that like yeah. there was a dragon that's there. Like it's normal. It's not like a big deal. They can yeah. Once when we used to see dragons, yeah. Like, Holy shit, that scene that. is dope. In this show, like it's amazing, but yeah. they show how like everybody is like dragons are so common over here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah which is and pretty also, cool. Also, there's like not just one type of dragon. There's like different types of dragons. Like you yeah. know, like a uh, like a. Uh, her dragon, like the colors are all different. They're like some of them Cyrax. look different. Cyrax. Yeah, yeah, dude. They're yeah. all so cool. They all look yeah. different. Dude, I actually what know all the it? names. I actually know all the yeah. names of the dragon. That's fucking amazing. I you actually did the research on like fucking dragons because, like, okay, uh, okay, I have one question that I'll probably ask you by the end of the stream because, like, uh, the uh, end of the podcast because I don't know exactly what dragon that was, but actually, you know, well, I'll, I'll ask you about the end. But yeah, I just loved how like there's so many different varieties of dragons. There's uh okay. what which was your favorite? The dragons, um the, the thing is that uh I think I like so there's one dragon which looks really nice. It's Sunfire, I think. Uh it, they don't show a lot of it in the show, but they showed it on the books, like a picture of it of how it looks like. It looks pretty good. The color is golden and and it's like the fire basically complements the color of the dragon. It's pretty awesome. Uh, I did not like... I don't like uh, Damon's dragon. Uh, what? You don't? I it's Car- so cool. his, name is, his name is Carac. It's nice, but such a long neck, dude. I just think it's like... Yeah. 
Yeah, but it does look. I think my favorite person is Melis, which is Rainey's, Rainey's dragon. Yeah, because you uh, know that scene in the one. you know in the last, one, episode, yeah. last episode, he basically blows off the entire citadel, right? Oh, no, where was where was that? Where oh, Rainey's. Okay, okay, okay. Never mind. I thought you meant Rhaenyra. Yes, no, yes, yes. When, when they when the when the king's getting like you know the Aegon is getting like you know like Crown. kings or what the fuck it's called Aegon the second. Yeah. <laughs> So that I think Melis is such an interesting dragon, uh, because mm. he looks. I like I like the eyes, and it's like he has basically sharp thorns. He's if you notice, he's the only dragon who has like a lot of sharp thorns. There's no yeah, other yeah. dragon that has that thing. So I kind of yeah. like that about it. It's very um, to be. It's it's. I think Rhaenys is basically the same size as Drogon. Mm. Also, another thing. If you watch mm-hmm. Game of Thrones, any episode with the dragons, all the dragons will feel small right now. Because wait, the dragons... Wait, in... wait, Game of, wait, you're saying Game of Thrones dragons were bigger than the ones in this, in this no, show? No, they're smaller. Because, like, okay, the cause there are a few smaller. dragons that, like, seemed a lot smaller than the Game of Thrones ones. Like, yeah, uh... like Arax. Arax is the one that died. Mm-hmm. That's, that's the baby dragon. That oh, was so uh, yeah. That's a baby dragon. dragon. Yeah, that's like bro. Yeah. That was that was not growing up. Like that. That was the literally the height of Lucerus, bro. Mm. It, it was still growing. They're not matured. Because yeah, the just, dragons never yeah. stop growing. They, they don't stop they, growing. Yeah. Yeah. They so, grow till they die. Exactly. Oh. But uh, like, and even like in Game of Thrones, Drogon, they're all younger dragons. You know, maybe they have yeah. to grow a little bit more. Uh, oh. I just think like. My favorite though was Melee's. Um although I'm a little bit sad about it because I, I do know what's gonna happen to the dragon later on. <laughs> don't tell me, don't tell me, don't fucking I won't tell, tell me, dude. I won't tell you. They might change the okay. story. I'll tell you they might change the story because they might not uh, you know the, the TV show is always different. Because uh, I I know kind of what's gonna happen to the show. I already know the ending of the show, to be really frank with you. So I'm not gonna okay. tell you what's happening in the end. All right. Uh-huh. Um regardless though, um and also the whole Lucerus thing that happened. Uh, yeah. You know, I sent you a link. So basically, Lu- Lucerus dying where basically Vagar chews him like a fucking chew toy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. that scene actually in the books, uh, uh-huh. the way that happened was not actually how it described in the books. In the books, it's like his body has is still in the ocean. It's not uh-huh. like gone. Like his body was lost. And I think uh, there was some theory where his body was found, but he lost all his memory or something. Oh, okay. Damn. So he was never found at all, but he was still alive. Mm-hmm. But after he like, I mean, in the show, I think he pretty much is pretty much dead. Cause like in the show, he's dead. In the show, the, he's the dragon dead. bit the shit out of him. Yeah, and but I mean, it was like, it was pretty bizarre. I I really like that, dude. I love all the dragon scenes, all the dragon. Fl- the dragon flying scenes in this are so much more like better and realistic than the ones in like Game of Thrones. They just seem so much more like well done. Really? Uh, it, I mean, yeah, because like, like okay, okay, you remember that one episode? Okay, you remember that that episode where the what the fuck, Aemon? A- what's it, the guy with the one eye? What's his name? Aemon. Aemon. Yeah. So that that guy when he stole the big dragon. And he was flying it for the first time. And you know, he was hanging on to it while it was flying. It was like, I don't know, it was like really thrilling. It was like, holy shit. That was, was actually, that was really yeah, cool. that was pretty good. I thought I it mean, looked really cool. Um, I think th- that was very similar to the scene where Jon Snow was trying to fly a dragon for the first time. Yeah. Um, and then also, like, I don't know, this, I just really like all the dragon scenes. They're pretty dope. And uh, yeah. the, 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 He didn't the, steal the dragon, though, by the way. He did not steal the dragon. He claimed it. Yeah, he claimed it. So he stole, but he still stole it. Like it was uh, technically supposed to go to the dragon owner's daughter. Like she, they remember the girl? She was like, "You told me that, like you know." But also, I had I was gonna ask. Uh, dragon sizes like got a lot smaller by the end of like the the reign of uh, uh what's it called the Targaryen. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you remember, but there was an episode, or I think it was uh, it was uh, no, what's his name? Tyrion. Tyrion was talking to someone. And he was saying that, like, you know, uh, I always wanted a dragon when I was a kid. Like, and I yeah, was yeah. obsessed with dragons. And he was like, but by the time, you know, like, uh, by the time, like, you know, the Targaryens, like, died out, 
the uh, like di- uh, dragons were the size of cats, apparently. Yeah, they little they were like really tiny. So I, I don't know if like the... I don't remember that, but I know he was talking to a dragon to calm him down. He said this some the yes, thing. yes, yes. He was talking. To... Yeah, 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 something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and... maybe they did. The thing is that I do not know exactly when did they become extinct. Because mm-hmm. I mean, in Game of Thrones, we did see dragons, but before that, there was for three hundred years there were no dragons, right, or something like that. So yeah. I'm not too sure. I think a lot of that stuff is revealed in the books, which is Song of Ice and Fire, because that's yeah. all in the actual events, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, but I mean, I think it's like they have to grow, or the only reason they might die out is because they don't have riders. Because you gotta uh, also remember one uh, thing about the dragons like are not not all of them can actually not anyone can ride a dragon so yeah. in the books basically uh people will try out and if the dragon doesn't like you it basically eats you up uh nice it doesn't say it's not like gonna you know like for example when Eamon went in front of the dragon i think the only reason the dragon is okay with you is because they know the blood they can smell the yeah. blood so they know, and it's also it's it's a magical bond, by the way. The, the dragon rider and the dragon, it's a magical bond. It's something to do with Valerian blood or Valerian magic, which is mm. why that bond is there between the dragon and the rider. Which is yeah. why Damon can control the dragons very well. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, like uh, th- there's something between them, which is yeah. either you. Ask, it's Targaryen history, yeah. yeah. Like, you know. Just like- uh, like not so, so Lucerus, for example, the only reason he could ride it is because he does have Targaryen blood in him. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, he he's does, not even he, does. he doesn't have Valerian blood in him, but he does have Targaryen. He shares yeah. the same bloodline, so that's the Strong. only reason I think they could ride it. I don't <laughs> see anyone else who could ride it. You know, uh, if you mm. if you really notice, uh, only the Valerians and the Targaryens have been riding dragons. Yeah, no one else has. Because no one else has the bond. Now, I don't know how true this is. I'm sure people who read the books will know better. Um, but that's how I see it. And I, I like how they showed that as well in the thing. I, and I know I did not know the whole concept of claiming a dragon, by the way. Like a lot of concepts in this show was shown, which was not shown in the other thing. Yeah. You no. Know? So that's what I liked about the show, which it's it and they also showed like how politics was so strong. Mm. Like this was a full political show, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's everything true. was political. I mean, even Game of Thrones was, but yeah. this was just like showing they were trying to see how they can make allies. How are the allies getting formed? How were the houses yeah. getting united? Like, especially with Valerian, uh, people in Valeria and people in Targaryen. Like, that was such a deep thing which we never saw in Game of Thrones. We never thought of, you know. So I appreciated yeah. that a lot more. Um, yeah, but we also see. And this is like the whole thing, right? Such a stupid mistake. Basically, the reason Eamon couldn't control his dragon is the only reason why we're going ahead. There's, there might be a war ahead, right? Yeah. It's yeah. kind of really stupid if you think about it. Like, it's not stupid, but it's like it's like a mistake, which is yeah. technically not a mistake. But, you know, it was not intended. He didn't intend to kill him. I mean, he didn't intend to kill him, but... Like, it was his fault. Like, why was he fucking with the kid? You know? He shouldn't have fucked with the kid, but he did not know that the dragon is going to eat him up, right? And, uh, like, yeah, I mean, it's like, not his fault. But but also, also like, the kid, what's his name? Uh, he was, like, you know, Lucerne. his dragon attacked first. Lucerne's dragon attacked first. His dragon was trying to protect him, though. Huh? His dragon was trying to protect him. And he was like, serve me, serve me. And, like, and then he's like, oh, shit, fuck, serve me, dude. Holy shit. Yeah, they, like, you know, sh- they show a lot of the also a lot of Valyrian language has been revealed here. Like the way they talk to dragons, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, mm-hmm. But I mean, yeah, if you see that this is what caused the war. Now, she did not want to start the war, right? You remember that? She, did she not, didn't. She didn't want to start yeah. a war. Okay. At the same reason, even Daenerys Targaryen, if you looked at the previous episodes, she did not intend to go to King's Landing to actually destroy it. But she fucked him up, though. What do you mean? No, 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 no. Daenerys, if you looked at a car- if you looked at like season six, seven, uh, for the earlier se- season, she was more like you know forgiving. Yeah. Yeah, but she like, was just like, like just like Renera, like, right? It's the same thing. 
it's the same thing. Kind it's, of, but at the same time, there was a theory of like you know the Targaryen madness, where like Targaryens, because since there's so much like inbreeding, they eventually at the at an old age they like to just go crazy, you yeah. know. What was that theory? Do you remember that? Where like they're like, okay, yeah, Daenerys is going crazy, and then that's she, what, went, she went crazy. She burnt the whole city down. Okay, bro, think about it this way: they kill the dragon, they kill yeah. uh, Missandei in front yeah. of her. Okay, yeah. and at the same time. At the same time, Jon Snow became is going to probably claim the throne, or whatever, right? Like, there's there are people in the north who are against her, but that's not the thing that she feels. I think she feels what she got pissed off basically, man. She got too cornered, like her own people. Technically, the dragon were her children, right? So over years, yeah. like Lysaris also, like in Rhaen- Rhaenyra, is pissed off because they killed a child. Yeah. Like, yeah. She cannot even, like, Daenerys couldn't bear any more children. So if you see it from that perspective, it's like, there's no remorse. I mean, yes, it was a dick move to kill the whole, you don't have to kill all the people because, yeah. you know, but, like, that's exactly what happened. But I think even in the previous, I think every Wait, Targaryen bro burned down cities, dude. Like, even Aegon. You said this thing where you were like, why that end of last uh last show didn't suck what did you mean by that why did you think it didn't i didn't suck? i didn't think it sucked because i think that's exactly what would like as if you if you put yourself in the foot of a character right you have to say somehow there's always a lot of people who advised her like daenerys was like you need to instill some fear in people to be able to rule yeah, yeah but there's gotta be people to rule yeah. If you don't fucking burn all of them, what are you gonna fucking rule? Their ashes. You shouldn't have. Bur- I mean, I, th- I'm not saying that I agree with like her. I'm saying I think the ending was just natural. That's what was yeah. supposed to happen. We all but expected that's- that there would be a happy ending where Jon Snow would be Aegon Targaryen. He would get the throne. Him and Daenerys would hook up and whatever, all that shit, right? Like that would be such a happy ending. That's the thing. It doesn't matter if there was the show had a happy ending or not. I think that what mattered the most was there's so many unanswered questions. The way they ended the show, fine, fuck it. They didn't give it to John. They gave it to the fucking uh, I don't know the the, the other the kid. Yeah, yeah, whatever. That's all good and fine. Okay, let him be the king. What, the uh, the only annoying part that I found was that the whole stories of like Azor Ahai, the all the stories of like the whole build up to like the war. You know, like the the freaking uh, the the, uh, the war against the White Walkers, everything was just like like there was there's so much. Uh, what happened to the people of like you know the the faceless people? What is that shit? The, the, the face. Oh yeah, the, the, the uh, well, that's Google people or what were the fuck they were called? Yeah. yeah. What happened to that? I don't know. There's just so many unanswered questions. There were just yeah. so many unanswered. I and think then, that uh, stuff will be revealed in the next in the next few because they're making a season I think on Jon Snow. Are they? I think so. They're making. They're gonna start shooting anything next year. Um, basically talking about Kit what Harrington? he does after his life. Is it Kid Harrington or is it someone else? I think it's Kid Harrington. Okay, cool. That's yeah. pretty cool. Damn. Yeah. So you don't know that might actually we might see that and we might also see the unexplained stuff of you know the whole the guy with many faces or whatever we might even see that in the further books because there's a new book out by the way rise of the dragons rise of the dragon that's the newest book that he released right yeah i literally saw it yesterday i was in the store and i saw it it's a big book bro it's it looks so nice dude the pictures in the book are so nice dude it's like wow i want to read it that's cool that's really cool wait how many books are left though there's quite a bit, man. So there's Win- so there's the whole Song of Ice and Fire, like Winds of Winter. That's the whole Game of Thrones. I do not know how much they have taken from the books, to be frank with you. Because the books are too detailed. You cannot, you would have to have most. Yeah. Dude, jo- you know what George Martin said? To complete yeah. this fire and blood, the book, season, we have season one right now, right? He's saying you need four more seasons to finish the book, technically. Yeah. You need four more seasons to finish yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Because there's so much what? shit that's going on. There's a lot, like a lot. That's there. What, what? Okay, Game of Thrones, the show. What book was that based on? Song of Ice and Fire. Okay, it, no, the, the the first show. The first show was based on Song of Ice and Fire. 
Because apparently, I think George R. R. Martin said that, like, yeah, he said the same thing. He was like, I, I, you can, there's so much material in the book that, like, you can make, like, more seasons. But, yeah. like, that's the thing. Okay. Apparently, there was this thing, apparently, that, like, the two, the two directors, they got an opportunity to, like, direct the Star Wars movie, the new Star Wars movie or some shit. And, that, and to, like, take that opportunity, they, like, wrapped this shit up really quickly. Oh, and, okay. uh, See, that's the thing, man. If you're in a hurry, right, you're gonna make up like, like I don't even know if Jon Snow is supposed to come alive, by the way. Like, was he supposed to be alive? I don't know. Was he supposed to die? I don't know. So, like, it's there's just so much. There some, the thing is, there were some things that the show did that, like, really, like, you know, made everything yeah. so great for, like, even for people who are still reading the book, or who started yeah. reading the book first and then watched the other because like like the like the story of like you know okay like how you know like Valyrian steel is a big deal in Game of Thrones because like it's rare they lost the technique of how to make Valyrian steel whatever yada yada yada. But remember that one scene where Jon Snow and the army of like the his army like they go and save the 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 what's you call it the, the jungle people huh what are they called uh, wildlings wildlings the yeah, wildlings the yeah, wildlings freaking. Dude, that one scene where he's about to fight that White Walker, like sword fight him, oh, and then he like, yeah. and he explodes, bro. That was like the that was one of the craziest episodes ever. Because I thought it was crazy. I heard I was, like, oh, everyone shit. was hyped about that episode. I was yeah, not watching Game of Thrones at the time, but yeah, that was that was the craziest scene ever. Because uh, people who've been reading the book for years have been like, you know, speculating that that like, you know, Valyrian still kills White Walker. And uh, yeah, so was cool. huh? that's pretty awesome, dude. Yeah, yeah. I feel like if I had to watch a show earlier, I would probably appreciate that a lot more. And obviously, reading the books kind of probably paints a better picture. But I don't know. Mm-hmm. I I I hope they do justice to the book, at least for the prequel that they're doing right now. And I'm hoping that yeah. season two. I know season two is gonna be something that's. We're gonna have to wait two years, guys. That's the oh, sad dang. part, because they haven't even started shooting it, Seth. Dude, that should hurt. They're gonna start shooting. If you think about it, dude, it's a lot. Like these actors, if you look at all like the interviews, it's a lot of work to shoot. It's a lot. It's not easy. It's just too much yeah. of energy and time you put into this, hours that go into it. They need a break after this. Like honestly, they need a break. So yeah, 2023 is gonna be about shooting House of the Dragon, and then hopefully in 24 we see it. Before we this one, you had a question about the dragon. You wanted to ask me something. Uh, wait, I was going to ask you about the dragon. What was I going to ask you? Damn, I completely forgot what I was going to ask you. Oh my god, you should have uh, written it down. I should have written it down. I should have written it down. I think it might come to me. But uh, one thing, one quick thing about like Rhaenyra. I think <laughs> Rhaenyra, is the, the, the child actor who acted as Rhaenyra was so much better than the adult Rhaenyra. I don't know. I just felt like she There's was so much better. There's a big difference. There's a big difference. No, I, know. Yeah. I know. But she did go through a lot and everything. But I don't know. I just felt like the the child actress. She really showed like you know this like tough woman, like you know vibes, of like you know. She did. And, and... She did. There's that's what I'm saying. Like I was like thinking, damn, bro, she's like a badass and this and that and like, I mean, even the other one is. But like here, she's a mother and there she's not, and it's like, it's a huge age gap. One thing. The whole, the way they showed the age gaps of everyone, I liked how everyone was aging <laughs> except Damon and Sir Kristen. These two are like, yeah. never these, I swear, these guys were like the same for years. It was hilarious. Yeah, but but props to his act, to his acting though. Like I like how, you know, Sir Kristen is such a hateable actor, which means that like he presents himself, like the, the way he's acting himself out is, is pretty good. So I like that. I yeah. appreciate the acting in that. I just one last thing. I feel like yeah. all, the casting of the whole show is done so perfectly. Every like even last season, the cast of everybody was perfect, except minus the girl who like you know who plays the like the Damon's like you know uh, Damon's like prostitute lady. What the hell's that name? The the late uh, what's her name, dude? Oh. Uh, who, who kind of sounds like her tongue is burnt? You know. Oh, the, the 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 guy. The guy who sounds like this, yeah. The Bluetooth speaker is on. <laughs> exactly. Bluetooth device is connected. Uh, What's that device. about, man? Dude, dude, that's exactly. What the oh, hell that, was that? Th- that scene, by the way, has uh, has some... It might have some implication in the future scenes. In the future season. We'll see, man. We'll see. It's just that. Because, you know, she was his 
prostitute, right? So Damon yeah. might try to like re- reunite with her again to claim, I guess, to because she has some power apparently in that side and the yeah, rest. So Damon, you know, he'll do anything to get what he wants, right? Like the guy is ruthless, bro. Oh, that's what I like about him. Damon. Dude. The guy doesn't give a fuck, bro, dude. Bro, he doesn't give a fuck. He doesn't bro, give he a fuck. Bro, he choked him. He he choked Rhaenyra. It was like he grabbed yeah, her. Right he throat, which he doesn't insane. give a fuck. And and I love this line, dude. Like he's like, what is that line? Uh, something that that make give dra- No. Uh, I'd rather feed my sons to the dragon. Uh, is that one? Yeah, that line, but he says something to Renera. It's like, uh, something did not make us kings. Dragons did. Um, oh, dreams. Dreams did not make us kings. Dragons did. That was lit. Yeah, yeah. There's one thing I still don't understand, though. What was that Aegon's dream, which this guy saw? Viserys' dream. I think, uh, I think he saw, like, uh, he, uh, he, he kept saying that, like, he saw his son and he heard, like, marching People marching there's, behind there's, him. A, there's a theory behind that. Someone made a theory behind that. He's they, they say that the one whom he saw was Jon Snow, essentially. Oh, damn. It's not damn. even like because he's Aegon as well, right? He's Aegon Targaryen. Yeah. And oh, they said that he was the one who would be the one to, re- to unite the whole realm because he would be the one to stop the whole long night, which was what happened in Game of Thrones. Oh, the long, okay. Oh shit! Wait, Jon Snow's name was Aegon. Oh. Yeah, you forgot yeah, that completely... he's Aegon Targaryen. He's Aegon the Seventh. No, I remember he. I I knew that that he was a Targaryen. He's the from his like. Couple of he's but Aegon. That, that's where the next show might be interesting, because they're gonna probably show a lot of if if they make a series on Jon Snow and how what happens, they might actually show something in that show. And if I I don't know if George if George is writing a book on that. So that's gonna be very interesting. That motherfucker is so old, man. I hope he, I hope he, like you know, lives long enough to write these fucking books. And man. finish the books, and I hope he still lives. <laughs> Jesus, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, right. yeah, yeah. Right, wrap man. it up. All right, man. Uh, all right, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this podcast as much as we did. And uh, Seth, thank you so much for joining me in this podcast, man. Thank it's you awesome. Guys, you both. It's such a fun conversation, guys, talking Game of Thrones. We always, I mean, usually me and Seth, we anyways talk about it, but you know what? I thought yeah. we'd make it a podcast so that, you know, you guys can listen to us just yapping about it. And hopefully you guys got some insights into this if you guys watch the show. Uh, and if not, definitely check it out. We did not really spoil much. Yeah, we did. We did. With we you. did. Um, so much yeah. Yeah. I, I, I hope you guys, uh, you know, enjoyed it. Share it with your friends and have an amazing evening or day or whatever is ahead of you.